Hello, and welcome to today's episode 8 in our Analytics Byte series. In this series, we talk about analytical use cases and how to architect for them. My name is Evan Peck. I am a solutions architect here at AWS, working with our startup customers. And in today's episode, we will be going through real-time search and log analytics with Amazon Open Search Service. Before we get started, let's take a look at the agenda for the topics that we will be covering today. We'll do a recap of the various topics that we have done so far in the Analytics Byte series. And then we'll explore some of the challenges that our startup customers face as they build analytical solutions for machine-generated data. We'll go through several of the more common use cases and industry examples. And then we'll dive into the Amazon Open Search service and how it can help you build solutions easily and quickly. We will go through two reference architectures, one for the real-time search use case and the other for the log analytics use case. And then we'll wrap up uh, the discussion today uh, with two customer success stories. Let's do a quick recap of the topics that we have covered so far in our Analytics Byte series. We started off with addressing the data lake and how it is the foundation of a modern data architecture and how a serverless data lake can help you get started easily and quickly. We explored how we can ingest, store and process streaming data to address real-time use cases and how we can bring acid or transactional properties to both structured and unstructured data on the data lake. We look at how we can analyze all of this data with a modern data warehouse solution and how we can do data preparation for machine learning and also build a machine learning pipeline. So if you have missed any of these topics in our series, please take a look at all the videos that are available. Last but not least, in today's session, we are going to take a look at real-time search and log analytics with Amazon OpenSearch. Businesses today are generating and storing more data than ever before. Well, how much more? According to IDC, they forecast that in this year 2022 alone, over 96 zettabytes of data will be created. That is a lot of data. Let that sink in for a moment. 96 zettabytes. And if we take that and break it down into three broad categories of business-generated data, human-generated data, and machine-generated data. Although business-generated data is growing at a tremendous rate, human data is growing about 10 times that speed, and machine-generated data is growing even faster at 50 times that. And a lot of businesses see a tremendous amount of value in this human and machine-generated data and want to gain more insights from it. And they want to use these insights to be able to make better and more informed business decisions to be able to respond to changes much more quickly, to be able to improve the efficiencies of their business, and to be able to also uncover new market opportunities. However, because these data are being created and generated at a tremendous volume, and also because these data are usually in an unstructured or a semi-structured format, Businesses need and are looking for a new and different solution to be able to analyze these types of data. So, what are some of the common use cases that a search service can help you when it comes to the analysis of this human and machine generated data? Well, the first is to provide the ability to perform a full text search based on a natural language query or a keyword query over a large amount of unstructured data and to be able to provide the result back to you very quickly and also to provide the result in a ranked fashion based on the relevance to the user. Second, a search service can help you ingest and store a large amount of streaming data and to be able to provide a near real-time query over this large amount of streaming data and to provide you the results uh, very quickly. And also, a search service can provide a visual interface uh, to the users to be able to explore the data and to also provide statistical and time series tools in order to analyze uh, these time series data. 
Now that we have taken a look at some of the common and general use cases, let's look at several industry examples. We will start by looking at the industry examples for real-time search. So real-time search provides you the ability to find the right product, the right service, the right documents across both semi-structured and unstructured data and to be able to retrieve the relevant search results very quickly. And you can also filter the results based on different uh, facets and also attributes. So one of the industry use case is a, as an e-commerce platform where you can find uh, products, you can find information on the e-commerce platform very quickly. Also, many industries store a very large number of documents and store a lot of information in, do uh, in documents such as scientific research articles, investment analysis for financial firms, and also health records uh, for either hospitals or healthcare industry. And search allows the content of these documents to be indexed and, and the document to be searched for very quickly and easily. Also, you can use real-time search to provide a real-time uh, recommendation or customized recommendation uh, for your users. And this can be a curated uh, product recommendation. And you can also use it to create a playlist for content uh, such as music and videos. Uh, last but not least, this definitely can be used by customers who are providing a platform service. For example, uh, many of our customers uh, provide a SaaS platform or a software as a service platform. And real-time search can be embedded uh, into those applications so that content in that platform can be searchable. Now, let's take a look at some examples for log analytics. So log data are high volume streaming data that can be analyzed to get insights from them, such as to locate, diagnose, and or remediate problems within the infrastructure or your services. One use case is application monitoring. So this can be used to answer questions such as, is my infrastructure healthy? Uh, what is the error rate, if any? And what is the latency of my application like? Um, also, a lot of data is being generated by a lot of our security systems, and this can include uh, authentication and authorization systems, uh, log information from our firewalls, and also information from our networking uh, flow logs. And this can be used to monitor and analyze uh, for suspicious activities. Also, business insights can be gained uh, using log analytics as well, specifically around uh, data that are in uh, clickstream data. So this can be used to answer questions uh, like how our users are interacting with the application, such as uh, what products they are interested in, uh, what features uh, they are using, and how often uh, they are being engaged uh, with our application. Uh, last but not least, log analytics is also used for observability. For example, in a microservice uh, architecture, um, this can be used to analyze uh, tracing, uh, application tracing uh, across the microservices and to understand uh, the health of the service, uh, where are the errors if they are happening and what is the processing latency uh, amongst uh, the path of the microservice. The Amazon Open Search service is a fully managed service that can help you get started quickly to address the previously mentioned use cases and examples. The Amazon Open Search service is a fully managed service that allows you to deploy, operate, and scale both Open Search clusters as well as legacy Elasticsearch cluster in the AWS cloud. And it allows you to do so in a cost effective, secure, and scalable manner. So, you may have the question of how does OpenSearch relate to the Amazon OpenSearch service? Well, the Amazon OpenSearch service is a fully managed distributed search engine that is powered by Apache Lucene, OpenSearch, and includes a data visualization and user interface called the OpenSearch dashboard. And OpenSearch itself is a Apache license version 2 licensed fork of Elasticsearch and Kibana. In January of 2021, Elastic announced a change in their software licensing strategy and will not release new versions of Elasticsearch and Kibana under the permissive Apache license version 2 license anymore. Instead, new versions of the software will be released under the Elastic license with the source code available under the Elastic uh, license or SSPL, which are not open source. 
to ensure that the open source community as well as our customers continue to have access to secure, high quality and fully open source search and analytics suite. AWS announced OpenSearch, which is a fully open source Apache license version 2 license fork of Elasticsearch and Kibana. The Apache license version 2 of OpenSearch gives the open source community as well as our customers the freedom to use, extend, modify, embed, monetize, resell, and use OpenSearch as part of their products and services. OpenSearch has garnered positive support from the community and many organizations including SAP, Capital One, Dow Jones, and Red Hat, as well as numerous individual contributors have expressed interest to join the project and to develop OpenSearch. If you are managing open source analytics infrastructure, either on premise or in a cloud, that is based on OpenSearch or Elasticsearch, managing that infrastructure can be very time consuming and resource intensive. You will have to manage all operational aspects of the infrastructure, including hardware and software installation, configuration, patching, and backups. You will also have to manage performance and scalability and perform capacity planning and scale the clusters for both compute and storage capacity. In addition to that, you will have to manage security requirements such as network security and encryption and also work towards uh, compliance programs such as PCI, HIPAA, FedRAM and SOC. If you are struggling to maintain your infrastructure at scale and would like to offload the undifferentiated heavy lifting of managing the infrastructure, moving to a fully managed service such as the Amazon OpenSearch service can help and makes a lot of sense. This will free up your limited resource from infrastructure work and instead to be able to focus on innovating and building new applications that generate additional business value. Here is a sample view and screenshot of how the service looks like when it is being used for real-time search. In this particular example, it is being used as a search engine to match terms to objects in a catalog. In this particular example, a product catalog. And the search terms can be used to match to both free text as well as structured data. And the search results are being returned in a sorted order based on the relevance to the search. Also, each of the object in the uh, catalog have a different attribute value. And on the left, you can see that facets can be used by the users to drill into the search and narrow the search results based on the attribute value. Let's also see a sample view and screenshot of the Amazon OpenSearch service and the OpenSearch dashboard being used for streaming data analysis, including log data and time series data. The OpenSearch dashboard provides a set of functionality to help customers use a visual interface to be able to easily discover and analyze the data. It comes with several features such as charting capabilities, statistical tools that will allow you to calculate things like minimum, maximum, and average, and also the ability to aggregate data uh, to perform the analysis. You also have the ability to set thresholds and to alert based on those thresholds for alerting uh, capability. And the open search service comes pre-trained and with ready to use machine learning capabilities, including anomaly detection. And you can use the anomaly detection capability to easily detect for and analyze for anomalous behavior. Now that we have explored the Amazon OpenSearch service and the OpenSearch dashboard, let's take a look at two reference architectures that you can use to build your application. We will start with a reference architecture for the real-time search use case. In this use case, your application will have its data stored in one or more of these primary data sources, and they can include Amazon S3, Amazon RDS, Amazon DynamoDB, or data that's being stored in a graph database like Amazon Neptune. From these data sets, we will create a forwarding layer and this will include custom code that are running within your application or on a compute service such as AWS Lambda to be able to read data from these primary data sources and combine them if it needs to and convert it into a data format used by OpenSearch, which is JSON. 
And once this conversion is done, the application will then ingest the data into an open search cluster. A service such as the AWS Database Migration Service can also be used to read data from a relational database and ingest it into an open search cluster. And once the data is on open search, your application that's running on one or more of these compute uh, resources such as ECS, EKS, EC2, or on the AWS API gateway can now then use the open search API to submit query to open search and retrieve the relevant search results. Next, we'll take a look at a reference architecture for the log ingestion and log analytics workflow. So log data can be created or generated by one or more of these producers, and they include application, infrastructure, and or security logs. It also includes logs from AWS services, such as CloudTrail, CloudWatch, and VPC flow logs. And logs are also generated from within application tracing and also matrix that are coming from the infrastructure. From here, we will have agents or uh, collectors, uh, such as the Amazon Kinesis agent, CloudWatch agent, and also open source agents such as FluentBit and FluentD. And these collectors will take this or collect these logs and send them to an aggregator. So aggregator can, can include AWS services such as the Amazon Kinesis Data Firehose, Amazon Managed Streaming for Kafka, as well as open source aggregators such as Logstash. And the aggregators will collect this uh, streaming log data from one or more of these producers that are related to each other and collect them into a stream and ingest that data into OpenSearch. So once the data is in OpenSearch, we can use the previously discussed OpenSearch dashboard and or Kibana for your users to start analyzing this data and to create charts and also to use machine learning uh, capabilities such as anomaly detection to perform analysis. Throughout this series, we have also talked about the data lake and all the analytics tools that you can use uh, to bear to analyze data in them. So from within OpenSearch, that data can also be exported into a data lake to make it further uh, available for in-depth analysis. And also for further downstream machine learning training, data preparation and capabilities uh, that are being uh, you know, uh, generated downstream. Let's take a look at two customer success stories, beginning with Atlassian. Atlassian is the company behind very popular products like Jira and Confluence. And they were looking for a solution to maximize the scalability and to minimize the latency for customer search on their platform. They have over 500 million documents that needed to be searched uh, by their users. And their users were generating more than 35 million searches per day on their platform. And Atlassian wanted to move and operate at the speed of the cloud without having to maintain a lot of infrastructure. By moving to the Amazon Open Search service from their previous search solution, Atlassian was able to see the following benefit. First, they were able to see a 40% reduction in search latency for their customers that resulted in much better end user experience. Second, they were able to leverage the global AWS infrastructure to provide a 99.9% .9 uptime for their users by deploying two open search cluster per region. And in addition to that, they were able to easily expand their footprint to five regions around the world to better manage the network traffic and network latency in order to support their global customer footprint. Last but not least, they were able to maintain the cost of the infrastructure and instead devote their limited resource to innovating instead of managing infrastructure. Next, we'll look at the customer success story of Pinterest. Pinterest is one of the largest social networks in the world with over 400 million active monthly users and growing. The Pinterest observability team uses Elasticsearch to monitor and issue alerts for new software deployments on the main Pinterest site. And it is a critical tool for the team that they use to analyze the logs, to identify problems, and also to troubleshoot root causes. Pinterest was ingesting 500 gigabytes of logs on a daily basis, and it was growing very rapidly. 
previous solution that they had used include self-managed open source Elasticsearch. However, the Pinterest team was small, and this approach resulted in very high administrative and operational overhead. In addition, they were facing uh, challenges with uh, scaling the infrastructure to meet the growing needs of, the, of their log ingestion. Pinterest had also used uh, a third-party proprietary Elasticsearch solution. However, ultimately, they found that the cost was unsustainable and that approach was also, uh, or that solution was also unable to meet uh, the scale of their demands. After moving to the fully managed Amazon OpenSearch service, Pinterest was able to realize the following benefits uh, within a year. They were able to scale uh, their log ingestion pipeline from 500 gigabytes to 1.7 terabytes of log data ingested on a daily basis uh, with a minimal increase in operational overhead. In addition, they were able to reduce their costs by 30%. This concludes uh, today's episode, and I want to thank you for joining me today in today's episode where we discuss real-time search and log analytics with the Amazon OpenSearch service. There will be links below to point you to resources that you can learn more about these services uh, and solutions. And in addition to that, please do check out the other videos in our series. And I look forward to seeing you next time.